Well, it's the 17th of March and it's day 16 of the trial of those accused of the murder of 14-year-old D. John Reed in King Standing last May. Um, now, today, um, the last defendant presented their case. This is a woman who has been charged with assisting an offender. At times during a tearful um, testimony, um, she talked about being in shock and she talked about um, at times not being aware of her actions and hence being unable to recall them in many instances. Following a cross-examination lasted until just after lunch, at which time all the evidence stopped in the case. Importantly, her testimony is quite sensitive and that's why I'm not going into any more of it at this stage. Clearly, once the trial is over, we may be able to give you more information. However, moving on the timetable for the rest of the case now, tomorrow morning, um, just a couple of elements before all evidence closes to the jury. And it is expected that the judge will instruct them on the law in a partial summing up. The prosecution are expected to do their closing speech tomorrow and also at least one of the defence barristers and then it will spill over into Monday for additional closing speeches. It's anticipated court will not be sitting next Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday because of the um, unavailability of the trial judge. So it's anticipated this may go to the jury on either Monday, if not potentially Friday. So we're getting to that stage where there will be a conclusion to proceedings in this matter. But just to recap, um, five men or five males rather have been charged in connection with the murder of D. John Reed. Three of them are minors. Two men in their 30s have all pleaded not guilty alongside a woman as well who has pleaded not guilty to assisting an offender. More tomorrow when the summing up begins.